Hello everybody, this is Street Gamer back to conclude Group A. We've got three important matches coming up. In every other group there's at least one combatant with oh, with ten or more points. But in Group A, no one has more than has ten or more points. So that makes this group this made this group really tight and competitive. So yeah, we'll be starting off with Dino Hug going up against Team South America. Victory for Dino Hug guarantees their spot in the last 32. Victory for Team South America will thrust them into the top four. And in fact, a bonus point win would put Team South America top. Well, temporarily. Just shows how tight this group is. But yes, plenty to play for you. So let's go on with our first match. And yeah, like in previous tournaments, after every match, I will show the... Uh, group table as it stands, since it is the final round. Okie dokie then, in the red corner for Dino Hug, we've got off for Aquacamphosaurus. Dino Hug enjoying a decent tournament so far, one of my picks to do well in this tournament to be honest, and a victory here will put them top, well temporarily until Hedy and, Head and Diddy Darius play. Backing up the acro we've got Ankylosaurus, ok so no touring advantages here, because we're in the Colosseum. And none, none of our guys have secret dinosaurs. Yeah, I fancy Dino Hug to win this match. I think Dino Hug will get it done. And if Dino Hug does win, that will knock Team South America out of the tournament. So yeah, Team South America has to win this match to give themselves a chance. In the red corner, we got... No, in the blue corner of Team South America, we got the Ablosaurus. Team South America sneak into that top four. Backing it up, we got the poisonous predator, the the Pianitsky Swords. I mean, even if Team South America gets knocked out, they've had a they've had notable wins, particularly against Diddy, against our champ Diddy Darius. Oh, I've received a text message, and it's from O2. Yeah, I, I think Dino Hug will get it done. But what uh, what do I know, eh? What do I know? Nothing. Not for. <laughs> Ooh, that's a crit from the acro. Okay, so Dino Hug swaps when HP's in the red. Team South America in the yellow. And well, disable a source since HP is about to be in the yellow. Because this blazing spin attack's going to do a lot of damage. Oh, look at that. Half his health gone in a second. Didn't get it this time, but Team South America gets the swap. Which um, might not be a good thing, because the Pianitsky Source is going to have the tight disadvantage against the Acro. Yes. Not the most tactical swap in the world. Or maybe he wants the Ablosaurus to be out. Um. Well, Rip Pianitsky Soros. But, this is very good from Dino Hug, and in fact, they could be on course for a bonus point win at this rate. Well, any win puts Dino Hug, Hug top of this group. Oh, look at the damage! Defense boost coming in, light recovery coming in. Things don't look good for Team South America. Oh, failed the swap! Yeah, that's... Well, that stops Team South America from going top should they win this match, but at the moment they're not winning this match. They get absolutely smoked by an Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Oh, it don't look good. It doesn't look good, but looks very good for Dino Hug. Ooh, hello, we got a blazing spin. Team South America not beaten yet. But yeah, it looks like this is probably the end of the road. I mean, this acro buffed up on defense boost. It's got the light recovery. All it needs is a hit and it's one. I think it needs to swap. I can't remember. Oh, no. Oops. Whoops. But it doesn't matter because the acro won anyway. <laughs> they swapped it out for no reason. Damn it. But as I said, it doesn't matter. Dino Hug doesn't care. They got the bonus point win. 
We're going through to the last 32 round, and Team South America are going home. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, I said I fancy Dino Egg from the start. I, I fancy Dino Egg to win. And yeah, look, a very good, a very good display going into the last 32 round. Right, let's have a look at what that does to Group A as it stands. Well, that's how Group A looks at the moment. Dino Hug topping it with 12 points. And in fact, as long as neither of these guys get bonus point win, Dino Hug will top this group. Well, actually, I think, yeah, they have the head-to-head -head against Diddy Darius, but not against Heady, so... Yeah, as long as Heady doesn't... Well, if Heady doesn't win, and Dino Hug doesn't get a bonus point... Diddy Darius doesn't get a bonus point win, then Dino Hug will top Group A. As for Team South America, bowing out of the tournament. But yeah, one thing's for certain, Dino Hug, Diddy Darius, Heady all safely through to the last 32 round. If it wasn't official before, it is now. <laughs> but yeah, on to our next matchup, which is Random Shy Guy going up against Diddy Darius. Well, if, oh my god. Will this possible field for, for the Random Shy Guy, this Sejuangasaurus is going to have terrain disadvantage, the poor thing. Oh, that's not good. Maybe it's not going to be their day today. But you never know. You never know. But anyway, in the red corner, we do have the Sejuangasaurus. Well, if ever ra Random Shy Guy needed the Seji to perform, it was now. Backing it up, we got the Spino Tector. Needs to get off the Di I feel like they need to get off Dino Tector to in order to give themselves a chance at a bonus point win. Because that's, that's, that's the only thing that will get them into that top four. And even then, it's not guaranteed they'll go through, because Toka could win in round three. Right. In the blue corner, for, for our chap Diddy Darius, we got Alpha Kentrosaurus. Diddy Darius, mixed fortune so far in this tournament. Some good wins, some disappointing losses. But overall, you know, they've done enough to get through. I think that's all we can say so far about our chap. Backing up the Kent, we got the Shant. A bonus point win for Diddy Darius, and they will go top of Group A. Could be important, that. I mean, let's be honest, if you get out of this group of death, then that's an achievement. I mean, there's no shame bound out of this group. This is a really tough group. Right, first things first. Let's get the uh, terrain advantage over with. Boosh! Neck Crusher coming in there. Oh, it's not gonna be their day, is it? Oh, this is a... looks bleak. Looks pretty bleak already. Ah, oh, yeah, there it is. Game over. Well, um, yeah, at least Red Beat, at least um, Random Shy Guy's been put out of their misery early. But yeah, strong start from Diddy Darius. Random Shy Guy, unfortunately, even if they win this match, are not going to get enough points to get out of this group, and it is going to be group stage elimination for them. But as I said, no shame in going out of this group. This group is really tough. I mean, any of our guys could have been knocked out. A really tough group. They definitely... I feel like they would have fared better in, a, in one of the other groups. Well, the Spinal Tech, they can't put up a fight. Bit late now, but, you know, better late than never. Oh, Diddy Darius gets the swap. There is still motivation here for Diddy Darius, because a bonus point win will put him top. And you want to be top, because you'll get, in theory, a more favourable match. Although, that's not the, always the case. It depends on what group you're being matched up with. Oh dear. And yeah, if you're wondering why the Spinal Tector's moves are like glowing like that, it's because this one is paper paper type. So if you hit with a, the same move consecutive times, this happens, and then the next time you hit, your move will be super strong. Oh no, but Diddy Darius, but Random Shy Guy's not even going to get it. Wow. Um, yeah, that was really bru a bruising way to finish their tournament for Random Shy Guy. Really devastating. But Diddy Darius 
getting it done and getting the bonus point win to put them top. Right, let's have a look at the table and we can move on to our final match of Group A. Um, yeah, commiserations for Random Shy Guy. It just didn't happen for them. I f the two moments I think cost them was not getting the Dino Tector off on Team South America and obviously losing to Toka Nightmare. Probably the two reasons why they are bowing out of this tournament. But yeah, on to our final match of this group, which is Heady going up against Toka Nightmare. Not much at stake here, except for trying to finish third. Given the earlier result, Heady will not be able to top this group, but they can finish second with a win and go above Dino Hunt. Right, in the red corner for Heady, we got Triceratops. We are on the beach field, which is actually very bad news for Heady. This Triceratops will have terrain disadvantage. But as I said, this match is a shot to nothing for these two, you know, try finish as high as they can. Backing up the trike, we got to speak the Sorps. You know, you could say, you know, if you get a good finish in the group, you know, get a, de a better, a more favourable matchup in the last 32, maybe? I'll have to double check. Okie dokie then, in the blue corner, for Toka Nightmare, we got this Alpha Sukamimus. Toka Nightmare safely through without even needing to play in this round. By virtue of the fact that the first other two, first two results went their way. But let's be honest, they they got they gave themselves the platform by beating Random Shy Guy. Backing up the Suko, we got Super T-Rex. Awaken mode on four. So yeah, Toka will get the first hit, which will be a rock hit. Uh, both are do... Nope, Toka swaps when HP is below half. Heady in the red. And let's hope we can finish this group on a high. Well, with an exciting match, let's just say that. The trike will have the type advantage over Suko. That could be key here. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> well, terrain disadvantage. Not really phasing the trike there. However, that crit will phase the Suko. Oh wow. <laughs> You're lucky it wasn't a Thunder Driver, buddy. Ooh, that's a tie. Oh, hello, we got a Plasma Anchor. Hardly seen this thing at all. Heady starting off strong despite the terrain disadvantage. Well, type the swap if you're Toka. Oh, not getting the swap. Heady on top early on. Push. Well, as I said, a bonus point win won't be enough for Heady to top this group by virtue of the fact that Diddy Darius beat them. Ooh, ooh, finally took again a hit on the board. Twice. Ooh, ooh another hit. The T-Rex looking strong here. Am Young Guira dies to come. Toka coming back into this contest. Ooh, things could be interesting. You can kill the trike. The awaken mode happens. Oh, is it tight? Two. The trike gets the hit, gets the swap out into the Spletosaurus. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Right, wait the mode. One thing I will say though is if the T-Rex gets the hit here and kills the Spletosaurus, it'll also get a hit on the Triceratops when the Triceratops comes back in. But let's see what happens. Oh, Toka doesn't get the hit. Okay, yeah, that's probably going to be the win for Heady. It's going to be tough for Toka to come back now. Especially with our tie bomb. In fact, a tie will probably be enough to kill the T-Rex. But Toka not going down without a fight? Ooh, hello, we got a crit. Well, I could have done with that while well, the T-Rex is awakened, but, you know, better late than never. Oosh. Oh, look at that! 
respectable damage there. Oh well, then Hedy's denied the bonus point win. No bonus point win for Hedy and all of a sudden, because this trike comes in with terrain disadvantage, which means the T-Rex is going to get a hit and it might actually kill it. Let's find out. Oh, it might, oh actually, has Toka snatched it? Oh, they go in too! Oh, what happened? Well, Toka Nightmare was dead and buried, but the T-Rex... A roaring comeback there for Toka Nightmare. Hedy will get a losing bonus point, but it will not be enough to overtake Dino Hug in second place. So Hedy will finish third, fourth, and Dino and Toka Nightmare will finish third. Right, let's have a look at the final table for Group A. Right, here's how Group A ends, ladies and gentlemen. So, yep, Diddy Darius top in the group, 13 points. Dino Hug in second on 12 points. And then Toka Nightmare above Hedy by virtue of the fact that they just beat them. And then Hedy in fourth. And then these two poor saps out of the tournament. Right, so let's see who they will play. That is how our last 32 round bracket looks thus far. Still plenty of holes to fill, as you can see. And they will be filled in the upcoming videos. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Thanks for watching. Until next time, ta-ta. Mm -hmm.